Oh, hello. I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, and I've just had breakfast. Uh, just going to wash up. Um, it's a, a busy day. As you watch this, if you follow and uh, one of the regular viewers, you may know that um, the lovely Julia and I are off to Shropshire and Wales. Um, and I've got an interview with an important chap about sustainable farming, which I'm very much looking forward to doing. And um, I'm going to see the lovely Fran and Rich from Floating Our Boat, other YouTubers who live on a narrow boat. So I've got lots of stuff to do today because we're leaving tomorrow early in the morning. So um, I'm not out and about doing a normal video. So you may just have to follow me around whilst I'm doing my normal stuff. And first up, I'm going to get rid of this horrible porridge in the pan. My log man came today. In fact, I'm trying a different uh, company than the one that I normally use. And um, he arrived with his wagon, which he got up the back alley where I live, um, where I'm, when I get my new van, if he can get his big, wide, low loader with, um, well, I don't know if it's a low loader, but this tailgate thing with a crane in the back, up the lane, then I can definitely get my van in. And he came with these, um, three bags of logs, uh, good value actually. And the thing is, I know where it's come from. This is ash and it's come from the Whiston estate. Um, actually, I did a walk at the bottom of Chantonbury Ring and the, the chap who brought it, John, he said, yeah, I've seen your videos and uh, you walked exactly where those trees were. They were all stacked up and been there for three years. And uh, so here they are all ready for my Essie, which is great. Um, so before I go, I've got to get them stacked up on these little stacks and uh, make the garden a little bit more presentable so that I can actually get out of the uh, gate <laughs> when I load up my car. So a bit of crack on. Oh, well, that wore me out. I think I'll make myself a cup of coffee in a minute. Um, so, having done that, got to think about um, getting ready to go. And as I said before, the object of the exercise is twofold. So, um, one is to meet up with Patrick Holden from the Sustainable Food Trust and really find out a little bit about sustainable farming practices, about health and diet and... Um, how we can make um, food more healthy, more accessible um, and not so much on the, the monoculture but uh, more local based, that sort of thing. So I'm interested to get his perspective on that but also he is a rent genuine farmer and he lives in Wales. He used to grow carrots but he now has, I believe it's a dairy herd and they do all sorts of things with their dairy products. So I'm hoping to get a little look around the farm at the same time and talk about how the farming industry is. Um, and and um, because you keep hearing these terrible stories about farmers, some farmers can't make uh, ends meet and they've committed suicide, they're incredibly lonely. And then on the other side, you get the very big farmers who have management teams to operate their farms and it's just field after field after field, monoculture after monoculture, one crop, no mixed farming or anything. So I want to try and learn a little bit more about that, uh, which will be fascinating. So I've got that and then, as we say, we're going to go and uh, have a day on a canal boat, which is a great sort of, um, how would you put it? Reminder, we did it a year ago, we had a fantastic time, loved it, the lovely Julia and I. Joseph was only six weeks old, I think, at the time. He's now about a year and three weeks, four weeks, something like that. So what is that, 13 months? And that's going to be a bit more of a handful. We're going on a different river, uh, a different canal, and River Thames, and then the Oxford Canal. 
So we got that. And so it would be great just to sort of go with Fran and Rich floating our boat, by the way, check them out and um, re remind ourselves how to go through locks. It's It's been a while, but I need to work out what kit I need to take with me in terms of filming kit um, to get all of that. So one of the things that I have is a gimbal and I've been putting my uh, mirrorless camera, I've got a DSLR which is what I'm filming on now and I've also got a mirrorless camera which is the same uh, really as a DSLR, it's just that it hasn't got the single lens reflex business, it's, it's still a digital camera, um, let's not get technical onto that. But I have a, a gimbal which, um, I used to have a gimbal which holds and keeps the camera steady and I used to have a small one for the GoPro that I used to use but now that I'm trying to move on to a better quality I've got one here which um, I've set up um, and so here's the mirrorless camera on it and the idea is that I can move the uh, the handle and keep the camera steady so if I want to get these sort of steady shots I can I can do it this way I can also pan a little left and right, tilt up and down as required, as you can see. Um, and the great thing is I can film myself. So, and I, I hold it here and I wander about and say hello. Now I do actually need a, um, a wider angle lens for it because this lens is just not um, wide enough, unfortunately. Um, that's, which is why I get sort of quite close. I mean, in an ideal world, I'd like to be that wide when I'm walking about, so I'm not too close. Um, but it isn't an ideal world. A, a lens for that's probably going to cost between five and eight hundred pounds. Um, it's an oldish camera, and I'm still debating: do I want to upgrade to a different type of camera, or will those type of cameras still be in existence? That um, buying and investing in lenses for it is worthy of it. There's all these sort of things to think about. But that's uh, one. I will take my little GoPro um, and uh, Steel's camera and other bits of Bob. So I need to pack them all into a bag and take them with me. And of course, I've got to think about clothes. Ah. Huh. Right. Whenever I go away, especially on an Airbnb, let's get rid of that. I always take with me this box. I call it my food box. And in my food box, I take a whole load of basics, really, because it saves me having to go to uh, the nearest shop, which may or may not have some of the stuff. So one of the things that one always wants to take with you, some toilet roll. Just in case, you never quite know. Um, I always take with me a cup as well because um, sometimes you go in there and the little cups that they have are so titchy. So I like to take my own cup. Other things I uh, take, it's like some rice. What else have we got in here? Washing up liquid. Uh, some bin bags, they're always useful. And tins, tins of, uh, what have we got? Tuna. Um, baked beans, uh, tomatoes, that sort of thing, stock pots, um, salt and pepper, very important. Uh, I even take some fabric conditioner and some washing powder, although I don't put the washing powder in this box because I uh, don't want to contaminate everything. Tea bags, my favourite coffee, actually, looking in here, my favourite coffee isn't in here. So. The next job is to go through all of this and to make sure I've got all the essential things that I need and then things like milk and cheese and dairy products and stuff that would go in a fridge um, I will get locally but it's just so that 
there's enough of something to rustle up some sort of meal when I get there. So I may go and get some potatoes, we can have baked potatoes and tuna, depending on the facilities at the place. Oh, right. That's the clothes. I hate doing the clothes. You know, work out. Am I going to wear this? Am I going to wear that? Is the weather going to be hot? Is the weather going to be cold? Who knows? Who cares? But you've got to have something when you're away for a few days. It's going to be worse when we get on the canal boat. Oh my. Anyway, ah, that's more or less it. I think I've got all my equipment. I've got my clothes. I know where I'm going. I've made a list of this, that and the other. So this video is obviously just about getting ready to go. By the time you see this, we'll be on our way. Hopefully, fingers crossed, more or less. Um, so, not sure when the next video will be after this. It depends on the internet. So there may be a couple of days where you don't get anything. And I apologize for that. We'll try and do something, even if it's just a live uh, on the phone or something very short. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow, like and subscribe. Become a patron, support what I do. We'll bring you more videos, we'll do our best. In the meantime, I shall stack everything in my back room ready for the morning. Take care. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Right, here it goes. <laughs>